Belanda. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making an appetizer that won't only wow your guests, but it will leave them wondering how you ever made it. You're going to think I'm crazy, but I'm making bacon wrapped cream cheese. And not just any cream cheese, but a flavored Philadelphia cream cheese. So let's get started. Let me show you how I do this. So the first thing I've done is I've taken my Philadelphia cream cheese and I'm using garlic and herb and I've added a half a teaspoon of smoky paprika to the cream cheese. And the smoky paprika is just going to add a lot of flavor and another layer to this dish. Okay, then you want to take slices of bread and you want to spread the cream cheese, not all the way to the edge, but we're going to cut off the corners. So you just want to give it a nice good dollop there. And you're going to cover with another slice of bread. And I've got a couple done here, but I'm going to show you how we do this. I'm just going to spread the cream cheese like that, cover it, and now we're ready to cut them. Okay? So at this point, you're going to cut off the crust like this. And then you're going to cut it into three, three pieces like that. And then turn it and cut it so you have six bites right there. Okay, go ahead and do this one. We're going to cut off the crust. going to cut it into three and then once again for your six bites. Okay at this point I'm going to get some bacon out and your bacon and you're going to cut a pound of bacon in half like that. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take a slice of bacon and wrap your bread with the cream cheese in it, like this, and you're going to put a toothpick in it, just like that. So I'm going to get busy and do this, and I have to tell you, what inspired this recipe was, I had some girlfriends over the other night, and we were talking recipes, of course. And we got to talking about bacon, and we were, we were saying how everything tastes better with bacon, right? So I thought, well, I want to take my two favorite ingredients, which is bacon and cream cheese, and try and come up with an appetizer that would be fabulous. So, you know that gal Paula Dean, how she is with butter? I'm that way with cream cheese. <laughs> so, I decided... I would play and I came up with this dish. And these are awesome appetizers. Okay, I'm gonna get these on my baking dish, which I've already lined with foil. I've also sprayed the foil with non-cook or non-stick cooking spray. Okay, so we're just gonna get these on here. And then there's one more step we do before we pop these in the oven. And that is to take old Bay seasoning and you're going to sprinkle each one of your bacon bites with the Old Bay seasoning just like this each one of them get another layer of flavor and Old Bay seasoning is something that you can buy in the grocery store or you can do like I do and just make up your own um, with the same ingredients that's found in Old Bay seasoning in the store. It's got some great flavors in there and that smoky paprika and that cream cheese. Oh, these are going to be so awesome. Your guests are going to wonder how you make these. Okay, so now we're ready to pop these in the oven. Okay, I've got an oven preheated at 400 degrees. We're going to put these in. And we're going to let these cook for about 20 minutes. So I've got these out of the oven and I'm getting ready to plate them. 
I've let them cool for about five minutes. And if you like your bacon a little more crispy, you can put the oven on broil for the, like the last minute. But you definitely want to let these set for about five minutes to let them cool off before you dig into them. Oh, I can't wait to try one of these. And I have to before they disappear. Oh, that cream cheese, that paprika, the Old Bay seasoning, the bacon. This is heaven in your mouth. All right. Look at that. Beautiful. Mmm. What a dish.